What's up, it's Unox. This is now my third time recording this tutorial. But yeah, uh, for this tutorial, you will need to have Blender 2.7.9 in on hand. We are gonna work on 2.8, but for one operation, we need to we need the older version. Since at least I haven't found a way to do it in Blender 2.8 you will see it when I get to that point uh, for this tutorial it's pretty important that you have already watched my earlier tutorials in simple ramps and uh, corners and hips and curves and <coughs> if you haven't, I hope you just understand your way around Blender. Uh, so I'm gonna do this very simple this time. This is, as I said, it's my third time recording this. Last time I even didn't even record, and I noticed that when I was already finished with the whole video. So let me just model this here so e to extrude on z axis as you may know already this edge uh, i'm gonna grab this edge here g y move it there and then go to top view put my 3d cursor here as i want to spin this around it and holding control allows you to snap E is extrude Y, Y axis, there we go um, <coughs> Excuse me, yeah uh, I'm gonna do just a simple hip here uh, Shear I'm gonna do a 90 degree hip, like so E, X, S, X, 0, oh sorry, S, X, 0, there we go, and then I'm just gonna add one, another 180 here, with the spin tool, and let it snap, E, X, and for this one I'm gonna just do it something like this, maybe there, so, uh, now I can also manipulate all the steps it takes, I'm just gonna put 11 in work for now, don't really matter to me. Uh, as you can see, um, it's not correctly aligned, so I'm, I need to select the whole curve here, and then just select this edge and this edge. A face and do the same here. We don't need this loop there, so Control X while selected the X edge. Uh, so we have now this shape here. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna show you a real quick way to make height differences. So Control R to add loop cut here and do the same on the opposite side. Select both loop cuts, scale, y, and zero, so they are even. I'm gonna do the same here and here, move them on y axis. So this is gonna be the slope of it. I'm gonna select this, all these curved faces here, and grab and move them up on z axis. There we go. Uh, as we have this now, you also might want to scale this a bit like so and make sure these are still aligned with each other. Then we need to 
Alt select, Alt hold Alt and click on this edge as I've shown you before on the earlier tutorials. That's why I'm going a bit not into deep with this because I would suggest you to watch those first because it's pretty important. Then I bevel this edge with Ctrl B, like so, and you will get this kind of result here, and that's we don't want it. We are gonna press M on our keyboard, M for mode, as many times as needed to make it stop there. I'm gonna add a few more segments to this by scrolling up on the mouse wheel. Okay, now since we added the change it the mode bevel mode, we have created some extra extra geometry here, double vertices. So select all, mesh, clean up, removables, seventy vertices removed. That's important. So now I'm W, shade smooth, there we go, auto smooth on, so we get this sharp edge. Uh, to make it more like concrete stuff, you could bevel this edge with a one section, like so. Okay, this is the general bowl of us. I'm gonna add a one detail here. I think it's called a love seat or something along those lines. I'm gonna add a con uh, loop cut here and I'm gonna scroll it up like so a few times and I'm then gonna select uh, this, this, and this edge right here and press V on the keyboard so it separates the splits the vertices okay uh, then I want to select all those yes all those edges and move them on Y axis then I'm unselect those and move these also there we go so we get this kind of shape here so Select this edge and this edge, press F to add a face, and you do it on every of these. There we go. We got this kind of result here. And to add a coping to this, you want to be again in edge selection mode. Alt click on any of these top edges, Shift D to duplicate so you get this right click so it's there P to separate it so now you got this separate object I'm just gonna copy it with ctrl C and then delete it we don't need that so this is the part where you gonna need the blender 2.79 if you don't have want to have the coping then you're fine you don't need to do it so I have it open already I'm gonna control V to paste it here so now you need to press alt and C actually make sure you have selected <laughs> alt C uh, curve from mesh then we're gonna go in this curve tab here fill is gonna be full depth so we're gonna add a bevel to it. This is the thing which will add the roundness. I'm gonna add like yeah, seven centimeters. Don't matter. So now the resolution is on zero, so it's basically a cube. So it's still a curve. It's not a mesh right now, but that's gonna be later. Uh, I'm gonna add put the resolution on one. We don't need to be 
too high poly and we don't want it to be okay it's good Control c and Control v there we go we got our coping but it's still a, a curve i'm gonna select this and go here up here object convert to mesh from curve now it's a mesh as you can see uh, i'm gonna double u shade smooth there we go um, i'm gonna tell you with a deck of these balls blender doesn't have too good too good of a <coughs> offset extrusion tool i'm just gonna hide this coping for now <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so you want to select this whole edge here once again. Uh, so I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to extrude and scale. This is the way you want to go. Blender don't have any good uh, offset extrusion tools, as I said. This will need some manual of work. To adjust it, you can move it up by a little, like so. Then you just need to grab these vertices and do stuff like this. It will take some time to get it the way you want to get it. There is an there is a add-on to offset edges but it's not working in uh, blender 2.8 I'm gonna let you battle with this one I hate doing those uh, so I'm gonna show you the floor here we need to select this whole edge around it alt and hold alt and click this edge and then we're gonna f press face. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, press face. I mean F to add a face. So we got this height difference here. And it's not doing it so good. Because this is now one big end gun. We need to inset with I. So we add this rim around it. Uh, this flat part is good. We don't need to connect any of these and guns on flat surfaces are fine on curved surfaces like this they are not fine we're gonna select this edge i mean vertex vertex and this vertex and press j to join and do the same here j select this one and this one j to join okay Actually, we might want to separate this with P, so select everything and P, so it's now its own mesh. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. I'm not gonna do it, because I need to edit, uh, edit this a bit more. If you want to have this, these edges curved, I mean smooth, you can edge select mode, edge select mode, alt, holding alt and selecting this and alt shift to select this then just control b to bevel like so, now it's smooth and now you can and this tool comes up with c, Let, uh, c on the keyboard and then P, separate, there we go. We got our floor, our tranny, and our quarter pipe. We don't need these vertices to be connected, there is no point in that. We c later when we export stuff, we can just join everything together, but the mesh itself don't need. Well, it did it now because they are overlapping i think blender 2.8 does good job with the merging these 
But yeah, that is all for this tutorial. Also, you can add a coping to this extension right here. <coughs> that is all for this this tutorial. Um, basically, you don't need to follow everything I've done here. I want you to experiment with all these things by yourself. Um, this tutorial isn't like needed too much because I already went through all those curve and shear techniques that I've shown in this video also. The only new thing I've shown is coping and I split this edge here. Yeah, I think that is it for this tutorial. Take care.